Well, how are we doing out there? I hope you're all absolutely spot on. And thank you very much for watching this video. Now I've been shopping. I've been to B&M. Come and have a look what I've got. So this is a Kershaw's meal. Frozen food since 1946. Classic steaklet and chips with onion gravy and baked beans. 360 gram weight, serving suggestion. There we go, look, 189. But I got these, I got two meals for three quid. So it was one pound and 50 pence. Um, so let's get this open and, uh, well, no, let's not. Let's have a look on the box. <laughs> um, so there is the nutritional information. If you want to pause that, by all means, go ahead and have a look at that. Um, so it's, uh, let's have a look. So it's 493 calories. I know a lot of people are interested in the, the carbohydrates because they must be on diets. If you want to pause that, have a look at that. Um, they are all the ingredients there, look. We've got chips, 30% uh, um, potato, sunflower oil. We've got beans in tomato sauce, beans 53%. Onion gravy and the steaklet at the bottom there, look, is 19%. You've got beef 38% and pork of 25%. A few allergens as well. You've got wheat, wheat, soya, wheat, milk and soya. Um, and there are the cooking instructions, look. You do it in the oven. You take it out of the carton, you pierce all the compartments and you put it on a baking tray in the middle of the oven for 30 minutes. And then you remove the film and leave it to stand for one minute before serving. So that is exactly what I'm going to do because I've got a few jobs to do. Uh, I'm going to put it in the oven and just forget about it for half an hour. Um, so that, that is that look. So it says at the top there, reformed beef and pork with soya and seasoning. Chips, rich onion gravy and beans in a tomato sauce. So I've never had one of these. It does say a food fact as well there. that This product may contain traces of nuts and seeds. Although every effort has been taken to remove all bones, some may remain. Seeds and nuts. Wow. Um, so that is that look. So let's get it open and have a look see what we've got. Let's see this. You can microwave it as well, believe it or not. <laughs> you can do it in the microwave. I'm not going to do it in the microwave because I think it does say there, look, for best results, oven cook from frozen. So that's what I'm going to do. Um, I did another one of these, uh, not like this though. What was it I did? Um, the fish and chips and beans. I did it in the um, air fryer. So there we go, look, this is that. Have a look at that. So I'm gonna, basically, what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna pierce the, I'm gonna pierce all the compartments, stick it in the oven, and I'll bring you back when it's done. Oh. So it's done. <laughs> uh, I did it half an hour in the oven. Um, I've just left it. I said I was going to do some jobs, but I, I, I got football on. <laughs> African Cup of Nations, uh, Gambia and Cameroon are on. Nil-nil. So if I, I disappear, there's a goal on. <laughs> so if you like this kind of thing, please give it a thumbs up, the video that, that is. Um, and if, you, um, if you're you not subscribed, well, maybe consider subscribing. I do all food reviews, new food, old food. I do all sorts, food related. I'm no... You know, I just love me food. Uh, and I'd like to thank all the new foodies who have been joining recently. I am absolutely fantastic. Thank you all very much. Leave a comment as well. Let me know if you've had these meals before. I know a lot of lovely foodies have and suggested these. Um, so that's why I got a load to try, you know. Um, so let's have a look at this. It's just out of the oven. Um, so let's um, let's peel it back, look. Oh, the peel test. Oh, it's worked perfect. Look at that. Um, the chips. The chips are the, the soggy like, but we'll get it out on a plate anyway. So let's, let's just get it all out here. There we go. Smells all right, I'll be honest. Onion gravy and a steaklet. And them chips. Them chips, um, I mean, they're, they're quite soggy, I'll be honest. Um, I did the last ones in the air fryer. And they went right crisp, uh, and I don't doubt I could stick these in the air fryer now for a quick for, for a quick three minutes to crisp them up. In fact, I'm going to do it. So there it is. Look, there's the chips. 
I put them in for five minutes in the air fryer um, on air crisp and they're still they're still soggy like so. Um, <laughs> I think the better option is with these putting them in the air fryer, taking it out of the compartment and putting these in the air fryer. Well, leaving them in the compartment because it's it's got gravy on and just doing them in the air fryer to start with. I reckon ten minutes will, will do them. Um, but there we go. That's what you get. Look, Let's see if I can get a bit of better light for you. I've had this in the. Um, all done in the oven, you see, in the in the tray. That's what you get, look. Getting dark now as well. I'm late today doing this one. So I've made some bread and butter as well, because that's compulsory, in it? But I'm going to try it first, see what it's like. So let's try this steaklet. <laughs> I, I know Iceland do a steaklet and chips, don't they? Uh, and I tried that one, it was pretty good. Just a burger, it just tastes like a burger. A very cheap burger, I'll be honest. Similar to the Iceland one. Let's have a look at a bit, bit of sauce on what. Let's have another go. £1.89 or one fifty if you buy two. Mm. <laughs> Nothing wrong with that, I grew up on burgers like that when I was a kid. The real cheap ones are tasty though. Um, let's try the beans. Mmm. Very sweet. They're all right, they're all tasty. Let's try the chips. There's the chips. It just tastes like microchips that were done in the microwave. However, they've been done in the oven. They're steamed, haven't they, in that little compartment. Um, yeah, I mean, I prefer the fish. For, right, so I'm going to put some vinegar on them. Uh, I, I put salt and vinegar on my fish and chips and I got a few comments saying, you're doing it all wrong, you put the vinegar on first, look. And then you put the salt on so that... So the salt sticks to the vinegar. So, but I'm going to put some pepper on as well because I think it needs a bit of pepper, that and a bit of salt as well. And um, that's just my personal preference. Um, and and this, obviously, this is what this is what I like to do. Um, I like to make some chip butties. Look, you got to you got to make chip butties, haven't you? Let's be honest. That's what it's all about. Probably get a bit of that on it as well. Look, get that fired on there as well. Bit of gravy. Let's not mess about. And there we go, look. Get that stuck on there, look. Get it all squashed on. Oh, 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 now we're talking. That's how you eat them, don't you? Let's be fair. Mmm. <laughs> mmm. Nothing wrong with that. Nothing wrong with that at all. Oh, it's lovely. That gravy's nice as well. I mean, look at it. It does look great, does it? Mm. It's lovely. Can't fault it, to be honest. I mean, I can fault it. I mean, well, no, I can't really. I can't. Nothing wrong with that. For a pound fifty, remember, a pound at fifty. I'd buy that again, definitely. Um, yeah, it's a good eight and a half. A good eight and a half out of ten, and I'd buy it again. Nothing wrong with that at all. So, thanks very much for watching. I'm gonna sl slap the rest of that between that other bread and butter, and I'm gonna get it in me. So thanks, take care, all the best, and I'll catch you on the next one.